Okay, hello. For my story prop, I'm doing the book Water by Frank Ash. A um, little quick synopsis of the book. Water by Frank Ash is a children's picture book that talks about the many ways that we can find and use water. Water is rain, dew in the morning, a snowflake, a cloud. It is underground for trees to drink. It is a brook, a waterfall, a small pond, and a big lake. It is what fish breathe and flowers drink. It is a tear. It floods. It is a winding river that leads to the ocean. That is essentially what these pages say in total. Um, there's not very many words on each page. So when I made this story prop, I decided to make a little felt board. And then for each of the different types of water that it talks about in the book, I have a little felt guy that'll match up with that. So, um, since this story doesn't really have a plot, um, when using the felt board, the main purpose isn't to tell the plot. The purpose is for them to be identifying the different forms of water. So a student could do this on their own and they could just have all the supplies with them and they could find this and say, water is dew. Water is rain. Water is a river. This is supposed to look like a little river. Water is underground for trees to drink. Water is what fish breathe. You get the point. So there's every single thing that the book talks about, every form of water, I have made a little felt thing for. So a student could do this by themselves or they could do it in pairs and they could do turn taking if that's something that you wanted them to work on. And you could give them all the materials or split it in half depending on how well they're sharing. And they could go back and forth and say, like, water is a tear. Your turn. Water's a pond. Hand it back. They can take them off or leave them on. Flowers drink water. Water is a snowflake. I couldn't figure out how to make a snowflake, but get the point. Water is the ocean. Yes, so that's how this storyboard works. The teacher can also facilitate and use this while reading the book. So you could be reading the book. Um, this is kind of how my cooperating teacher does it at Little. But she reads the book and then she has the adapted pieces on a board and lets the children match while they're reading. And then after reading, then they move to this and they retell the story and you, she could, knowing the order, go through and let the kids help put something on it and just go back and forth through everyone until we've talked about all the different ways that we can use water according to the book. I think I showed you all of them except for water is a flood, water is a cloud. What else did I not show you? This is a winding river, is what that was. And water is a waterfall. 